Welcome back. Today we are in yet another Icon Thriftmaster. This is Icon TR number 15. It is built in the new school style. Um, the Thriftmasters, the, I think the differences between new school and old school aren't as significant as they are in the other models. Basically the new school is just a little bit more stealth, has the more modern dash, um, icon branding on the exterior versus old schools. I mean, it's subtle, but it's different. So anyway, here we are. This truck is a 1948 original 3100 five window. Body was actually quite nice. These are getting so hard to find, like all of a sudden, dime a dozen for years. Now everyone likes them. And a lot of specialty shops have started building them in the last couple of years. So getting off to hunt down a good one. So anyway, um, we are doing the Ferrari Grigio Silverstone. Beautiful charcoal metallic. One of my favorites. We've done it over the years on several different vehicles. Um, I don't think we've done an FJ, but I know we've done a Bronco, and maybe one other TR in it. Um, we did the conventional stainless and chrome exterior trim. We did not do the brushed nickel finish, which we still do offer, but we've learned that finish is a bit sensitive. So we want to make sure people are hip to the added maintenance requirements of it. Um, and in general, try and talk them into the more durable finish unless it's really significant part of the aesthetic form. With this super shiny gray, I think the chrome actually worked better anyway. So let's see, gosh, I don't even know where to start on these. I think I've covered most of the details. Recently updated to LED headlights. So those are glass housing, very traditional looking, but have the improved LED functionality and reduced power draw. We have the um, chrome front grill, of course, the icon badging on the grill as well as the hood sides. Icon badging is also on the tailgate, but it is acid etched into the steel prior to primer and paint. So it's super mellow. You got to get it in like just the right angle or light to see it, which I kind of like. The tail lights are made by our good friends at Greening Automotive. So those are CNC aluminum and then chrome plated. The lenses have a really cool um, pyramid pattern machined into it on the inside. So it gives a really nice kind of prismatic, funky look when the taillights are excited. Single handle drop tailgate with the stainless elbow hinges. No chains to rattle and shake. We have the LED reverse lights to fit in there nice and snug. It's a nice, nice little bonus bit. The bed wood on this one's pretty cool. It's actually teak, so it's got a really nice look to it and it should age beautifully. We stained it and finished it in a satin finish. So it's not in your face blingy bling, but just kind of cool and classic. Of course, all stainless steel hardware for that. You've also got the uh, in-bed fuel filler. And on this truck, let me see. Yeah, we did not do the cargo hold downs on this one. Um, moving into the interior, really nice leather, got great surface character. It actually looks like a suede new buck, but it's not. It's like the surface is slightly agated, which gives it that sort of suede tone. And it's um, from our buddies at Morin Giles Leather, and it really adds a nice bit of character to this truck. Of course, the armrests are leather topped, the door panels, which are, by the way, laser cut board with rare earth magnets and then wrapped in foam and leather. So easy to remove to service internal door components. We have power windows, which are in appearance analog, but of course, you just simply click down for down and up for up. And then if you double click, it drops both windows double click up all windows up which is just a nice subtle functionality that's very much appreciated by everybody otherwise you're gonna gonna be a octopus of sorts to reach around and get them all we've got power door locks with remote gauges we have the icon designed new school 
gauges by Dakota Digital. Those support a host of functions, including zero to 60 quarter mile trip meters, um, parking brake indication, all that good stuff. Speaking of parking brake, this truck is running the e-stop parking brake, which is an electronic worm, basically cable pull assist parking brake for a really, really robust, no BS, you can trust the parking brake action, which is welcomed. And that uh, has a stainless lit dash switch that'll light up to remind you if you've left it on. And if that's not enough, it has a slightly annoying beep that will make sure yeah. you do not leave it on. Frankly, it holds the truck so solid. You're not really gonna pull away with it on anyway, even if you are blind and deaf. So there's that. In dash heat fan AC Gen 4 by our buddies at Vintage Air. Our own design for all of the knobs and switch gear, column hardware, Tri-5 Chevy Classic style reduced diameter steering wheel. We leather wrapped this one, the same leather used on this seat. That leather is also used to hem the Hargarden Square Weave Heather Gray carpet and removable mats, which are also lined in Dynamat and rubber backed. The windows on this truck are laminate glass with a gray safety tint, which is quite nice. There is no tint in the windshield, because that just seems silly to me. I never got why people do that, but for each his own. Exterior rear view mirrors have LED lights that power up when your turn signal is on. Let people next to you, what you know what your intentions are. The visors are the Icon Rosen visors, the universal sort, which we also sell on the website that make it super easy to adapt them to pretty much any vehicle with an arm style sun visor. You just cut your shank off and slip on the slip collar and you're off to the races. Inside rear view mirror is old school mechanical uh, dimmer control, stainless steel, super retro. Headliners, the Alcantara in a nice even gray with a layer of Dynamat above it. Behind the seats, you'll notice more carpet and again, more Dynamat. And then the entire body is coated in the heat cured polyurea which is not just a sound and vibration barrier, but also quite helpful as a corrosion barrier. Um, speaking of corrosion barriers, the Thriftmaster bodies like our Broncos and many of our projects, we take the original body, we do any heat related repairs. Then we strip the body again, uh, silica blast it, and then it goes into an oven and it gets a zinc rich epoxy based powder coat that is intended for undersea pipelines, which gets into every nook and cranny. It is such a nice process. It works so much better than conventional paint guns are never gonna get into all those little tiny cavities in the body. So I really like that. Plus it makes the finished paintwork look a lot deeper, a lot richer. So there's that. Mechanically, this is running our beloved Art Morrison four-wheel independent suspension chassis. That's pretty much the only chassis and suspension option we offer on the Thriftmaster. The base model comes with a four-link solid axle in the rear. Man, this four-wheel independent rides so good, handles incredible nice and smooth. I mean, it really turns it into a sports car masquerading as an old farm truck, which is super fun, especially when someone goes to gutter ball you on that two-lane canyon road that's turning into one lane. They never see you coming, then they see you going. <laughs> LS3 General Motors Emission Certified E-Rod Aluminum Fuel Injected V8. It's rated at about 440 horsey power. We're running uh, catalytic converters, pre and post cat uh, wideband O2s. We're running an EVAP system. Our fuel system is a sealed system with a stainless steel tank running in tank 
baffles and in-tank pump and sump, which is critical. All AeroQuip plumbing for everything. Rack and pinion for the power steering. Tremec TKO manual, six speed. I love these trucks with a manual. I suppose the only drawback is if you are gonna run a third passenger in the middle, Fourth gear is just going to get a little intimate, shall we say, but do what you got to do. I'm just happy when people are still engaging with manual transmissions and ordering them from us. Oddly enough, the majority of our builds seem to be going uh, automatic. We have coilover, suspension, we have a nodular aluminum Dana 63rd member in the rear. We have the Icon Brembo manufactured sport brakes all the way around. And that's a six piston front, four piston rear with a dedicated mechanical caliper for the parking brake. The exhaust system is a bridged dual system, MagnaFlow mufflers, TIG welded, stainless steel. What else? Um, for audio, we of course have the NEX, I think this is the 8600 head unit. So that has HD. Uh, sat radio, HD, FM, AM, CD, tetherless car play, excellent navigation, reverse camera, and pretty much all the functionality you need. For speakers on the Thriftmasters, we actually keep it pretty simple. We're running Focal Audio speakers with crossovers in the front, and then we're running a Fosgate bass built in behind the armrest digital sound processor managed amplified system even though there's only three speakers it fills up this cabin with high-end sound it works out really nice there's really I don't know it's not too much room without looking like a stereo with wheels and tires so I found it did the job really nice super crisp and clean it keeps the interior super classic and uncluttered the uh, knobs on the dash for lighting, you've got lights, wiper, temp, vent, and fan speed. There's LED lighting on the bottom of the seats, as well as the stock looking dome light has been converted to LED. And uh, those come on when you open the door. I like the down low lighting under dash and under the seat brow, just it's nice, it really opens it up killer new school dash with the double articulating face panels for accessing the glove box and for playing with your head unit but then you close them up when you don't want to look at it and you keep a super classic aesthetic so there you go babbled enough if i missed any key points that you remain curious about please feel free to ask questions i try and stay up with the comments you can also reach us old school telephone 818 280-3333. The old-fashioned website is icon4x4.com. And on Facebook and Instagram, that's where you'll find us as well, icon4x4. So I hope you are well. Please be kind to yourself, and hopefully a few other people as well. And stay safe, stay happy, stay content, and we'll see you very soon on the next video.